Amateurs of German vehicles know these shapes very well. Large silhouettes, straight lines, and a rear turret placement. These are distinctive features of German super heavy tanks. However, looks can be deceiving. Can this tier eight premium heavy tank repel enemy forces and cause as much damage as other same tier heavies? Does it have surprises? other than this strange inscription. Let's check it out. The first question about any heavy tank is, does it have good armor? This is the right question to ask. It requires a thoughtful and considered answer. Let's start with the good stuff. The turret front and gun mantlet are thick enough. They can withstand hits from guns with penetration of 250 millimeters. And this basically includes most tier eight and nine vehicles, excluding tank destroyers. The science doesn't know for sure whether it's frontal armor is related to its gun mantlet. But the turret is great. And that's a fact. As for its weak spot, well, it's the commander's cupola, which is no secret. Still, you can cover it by raising your gun or moving out to the right side of cover. Enemies will have trouble hitting it, even at medium distance. And, well, after several failures, the enemies will try to hit the VK's hull. In this position, the effective armor of the lower glacis plate is over 200 millimeters. The upper glacis plate has more than 260 millimeters of effective armor. As for the junction of armor plates, the armoring here reaches 270 millimeters. Besides this, if you angle the hull front, the values will be even more impressive. Keep in mind, we're talking about a tier eight tank. Even tier 10 vehicles might not penetrate its armor in some cases. The hull armoring behind the tracks is 100 millimeters, which is pretty good. When positioned at ricochet angles, the VK can deflect shells even from the most formidable opponents. Together with a sturdy turret, the vehicle armoring gives you confidence. You just need to get into position and knock off shells. But it's not that simple. The vehicle has weak spots. Tankers should never forget about them. For example, when the VK7501 is cresting a hill, its lower glacis plate becomes vulnerable to enemy hits, as its armor drops down to 160 millimeters. Even some tier six vehicles can penetrate its armor at this angle. On the other hand, if an enemy takes an elevated position, they can penetrate your hull roof and upper glacis plate. That's why this German tank should avoid clinching enemies with good elevation, depression angles. Basically, the armoring's a bit tricky. On the one hand, it's great. On the other, hmm, there are some nuances. Commanders should really experience the zen of armored combat. Find a balance between good and evil, so to say between the armor and its absence. That's how you do it. First, avoid terrain irregularities. Second, use the hull front to trick an enemy into shooting at you. Third, try to side scrape without exposing the lower glacis plate and front roller. To do this, make use of the tank's rear turret placement. Fourth, if you're able to hide your lower glacis plate, face your enemies head on. And, most importantly, act at the right time and place. When driving the VK7501, it's pretty easy to choose a path. The tank likes neither terrain irregularities nor open spaces. 
Well, no heavily armoured vehicles like them. So the choice is simple and clear. If you see a town, go there. There's a hill ahead. That's our goal. A nearby church. You know what to do. Another question is, are we in a hurry? And can we get there in time? The tank's top speed is 30 kilometers per hour. Its specific power is 12 horsepower per ton. The mobility is pretty mediocre. That's normal for vehicles with good armor. This German machine reaches positions slower than the IS-3, but faster than the VK-101P or, oh ho, -ho <laughs> with dignity and German prudence. Fast vehicles will be the first to reach the battlefield, engage in combat, and distract enemies. This is when you draw your 128mm argument, your gun. Average penetration of the standard shell is 226 millimeters, which is one of the best among all Tier 8 heavy tanks. And it's one of the most important parameters for a tank that's supposed to earn credits. The APCR shell penetrates 263 millimeters of armor. The gun accuracy is 0.39, but you can easily improve it to 0.34. Beside this, your aiming time can be decreased to 2.4 seconds. It's pretty good for a tank that prefers urban encounters. Firing this gun is fantastic. And it gets even better when you see the results. The VK7501 causes 490 HP of damage per hit. This is the ultimate winner among all Tier 8 Premium Heavy tanks. With a bit of luck, you can cause more than 600 HP of damage per hit. Three shots can be enough to destroy any same tier vehicle. No other Tier 8 Heavies can boast the same. This is the key feature of the vehicle. Basically, there are two types of Tier 8 Heavy tanks. They either have good alpha damage, but in the reticle, it looks somehow like that, or they have good accuracy, but damage per hit isn't impressive at all. The VK, however, features both good damage per hit and an accurate gun, which makes it super mean. Nevertheless, the low rate of fire and damage per minute balance the tank's advantages. But ask yourself again, are you really in a hurry? The commander of the VK7501K is in no hurry. He chooses his lane deliberately and moves to an SPG-proof position. And he does so with dignity. Upon reaching the battlefield, he checks the battle situation and picks his target. If the target might have difficulties penetrating your armor, face it head-on, deflect shells, and hit it in return. This hit will be painful, all right. It might even discourage your enemy from trying it ever again. Then, you'll need another target. It might even be a formidable Tier 10 opponent. However, don't try to deflect its shells other than in extreme cases. If you do it right, you might have a chance. But don't trade your durability beforehand. Be patient and pick your moment. After they fire a shot, make your move. Even Tier 10 monsters won't like it. In any case, be sure to stick to your allies and never play alone. Your team won't allow opponents to get close. The Super Heavy VK7501K doesn't like close-range encounters. It prefers fighting at medium distances, where it can push back any enemy. When the enemy spirit runs short, together with their hit points, it's time for you to lead the attack. 
the VK7501K will do so with its guard up. Your team will surely follow you. You're a warrior, a winner, and a reliable teammate. That's just how it has to be.